What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you on how to play a hit reaction animation whenever you get hit or damaged. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. But first, check out the link in the description to get awesome Unreal Engine courses on WinFox. Alright, so the first thing that we need is of course our hit reaction animation. And here I just have a very basic one, I will be linking it in the description with the full free pack of you know combat animation and stuff is the one that i always use in my combat system videos and stuff so okay so the first thing i want to make sure is that i have enable room motion on this doesn't really change anything on the video it just it just go ahead and moves the character a bit more realistically you know so anyway let's go ahead and say this and the first thing they want to do is convert this animation into an animation montage so we'll be basically able to play this animation at any time in our blueprints so let's go ahead and right click go to create a new montage and there we go we can go ahead and leave it like this you can change the name but here it is and now we can go ahead and close this up so let's go into our third person character blueprint but actually what we want to make sure is that in our abp many or whatever animation blueprint your character is using we have our default slot if you don't have it, again, it's called drag it default slot. And this is just the slot that uh, the animation montages will play. And if you don't have this into your anime graph, it will not play. Okay, the anime montages will not play. So you have to go ahead and make sure it is there. Okay, so now we can go ahead and open up our third person character blueprint. And the thing is that we're going to go ahead and use this apply, uh, sorry, event on any damage. Any damage. No. So basically, when our actor, in this case the player, receives any damage, it will go ahead and call this event. So in here is where we're gonna go ahead and call, uh, you know, to play our animation. Now in this video, I will not cover on how to make any sort of combat system and health system, and it's because I already have tutorials on that, so I will go ahead and leave them linked in the description. But I will go ahead and showcase how you can play your you know, and name montages and for the hit reactions and how you can play random uh, you know animation to make them more dynamic etc so what we can do is go ahead and drag this and say um well play a name montage and we can go ahead and call this node over here so now we can select our get hit montage that we created earlier and now what we need to do is call this event now normally you will call this event from your enemy and then when it attacks the player or you know whenever any reason but to debug this i'm gonna for example use the key, g key so when i press g i will go ahead and call this node which will apply damage into this actor so in damage actor i will go ahead and just drag and type self now of course you will replace this to your character uh your player you know and um, if you're calling from your enemy etc but in this case we are just testing this, so with self, we just call it in this blueprint. Now, the base damage you can put whatever value you want, but in this case, I will not do anything because we are not going to be using it. But you know, I, I always like to have you know, value there. Okay. All right. So now we can go ahead and compile and save. And now, if we press play and I press G, you will see that we get the hit reaction animation, and we get a little knock back down because of root motion, and everything just looks really, really cool. And of course, if you have a different animation, but well, your animation will be playing. So this is, you know, where uh, we will basically be receiving our damage, okay? So in here, you will have all your health logic, well, it will decrease your you know, image effects, your sounds, and so on, okay? Now, um, to make it a bit more dynamic what i like to do is play a random animation each time so it doesn't repeat and doesn't seem like very you know i don't know it's just a bit better so what we can do is go ahead and oh, sorry i need to delete the, this variable i forgot it oh my god okay i'm gonna go ahead and create a new variable get hit animations okay i had to create it because of earlier testing i had to record this twice because there wasn't any space left on the disk anyway so go ahead and change the type into an montage and then it's an object reference and now selecting this variable we can go into the type and change it into a array so basically it will be a list of variables okay so now if we compile and delete this ones because it was from earlier we can see that we can start adding different animations so in our case we can add our um get ahead montage and then another one for example this one over here 
or this one i don't know i you know i don't have any other hate reaction animations but in your case maybe you have from the pack or any other place so you can just go ahead and place them here now the more you have of the better the more variation the more dynamic it's gonna be all right so now in order to play a random one each time what i have to do is go ahead and drag it and drag this um uh, array into here i'm gonna get it. and now we want to go ahead and get a copy so in here it's going ahead and getting the uh, element zero which in this case is just our first um variable over here uh first animation but we want to go ahead and pick a random one so we can just go ahead and drag this random integer in range so it will pick a random number from zero which is our first value into our maximum now right now is one so we can place one but the thing is that if in the future we want to add more animations, we would also need to go ahead and change this node over here. So to make it more dynamic and easy for us, we can just go ahead and drag it again, the array, and then say length. And it will automatically get how long is the list. So it will just make our life much easier, you know? All right, and with that, we can just go ahead and plug it into here. And there we go. Now we can just go ahead and compile and save. And now I'll press play. And now, when it there we go press g it will play this animation and sometimes the other animation which in this case it wasn't really a hit react animation but you get it idea, okay so i get hit and i get hit and then i can play the other animation and the more you have the more dynamic it will be you get the idea now there's you know many more ways of making it more dynamic as for example adding physics on top so for example when you get hit you overlay some of the bones with some physics so you know if the uh, sword or the punch from the enemy hits you in the face it will react a bit better and the torso and the arms etc and it's just much better but i will not go ahead and cover this because it's just a bit more advanced but if you want to see a video on that go ahead and leave me in the comments all your opinions because i can go ahead and make a video on that okay so yeah guys that's it if you found the you know helpful i would really appreciate it. if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine fight throws so if you want to go ahead and check that out go ahead and now yes uh also i have just opened my discord server so i will be linked in the description so join now and the 10k special video is in the works and i'm working very very hard so it will hopefully be out soon and now yes with all said bye bye